What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my Final Fantasy X Transcendence mod playthrough. And guys, remember in the last one how I said you shouldn't judge this mod just yet? Well, now that we have done a little bit of grinding, you're gonna see why that was true, okay? First of all, look at my party. Look, look at who I'm using now after grinding. It, it's pretty different. It's pretty different. So why am I using Kimari? Well, wow, wow, wow. If we take a look at Kimari's stats, look at that magic defense. Look at that magic defense. It is insane. And you've got to think, in Mokalonia, there's a lot of magic usage. You know, there's a lot of enemies that use magic. Sphere Morph is mostly magic damage other than like one or two hits. And so on and so forth. Like, there's going to be loads of bosses that use magic damage. That means Kimori is going to be an absolute tank of a unit for us. And if we look at the sphere grid as well, like we've we've moved a little. You know, I got like ten levels or so like that. I didn't I didn't go too overboard on the grinding, but we can get some more HP. We can get a little bit more agility, even more evasion and accuracy. And then we're going to start going down into here where, you know, we get some uh, some healing abilities, some defensive abilities, more HP, and so on and so forth. Kimari is a tank of a unit for us. Riku, while we're kind of using her for her stealing abilities, she is pretty quick and she is starting to build up on, on strength and she has more strength coming. Combine that with Drain and Osmos, and yeah, Riku's, Riku's going to be pretty good as well. She's going to be quite tanky for us too. And of course, more HP and then she does get regen as well. Now, Tidus, we got auto life on him. A little bit expensive. He is nearly at haste, so Tidus might start getting more useful once we get haste. And then once we get holy, Tidus is probably going to Titus is probably gonna come into the main party, I think, for sure. Hard to, hard to decide right now though. Walker, yeah, still kind of useless, to be honest. Walker's definitely kind of useless. I think the problem, like, the main problem with Walker is just it's too hard to level him early on, you know? It's definitely a bit too hard to level Walker early on, so I think... I think his innate sphere level needs to be dropped so he can level on. I don't necessarily have a problem with his starting abilities. I do think they're rather useless, though, for how to level him and that. Unid, well, we didn't really move very far on Unid just because her innate sphere level was so high. Uh, Oren, Oren's actually really strong. Like, we got we got armor break, which is going to come in handy later. But if we look at the stats, 29 strength. That, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Especially because I could do the lightning dodge to, you know, get another 8 strength. That would take him up to 37 strength. And for a point of, for a point of reference... That's quite a lot. Like that's probably what we you would be on around in a non-grind playthrough. You would probably be on that around like late B canal, somewhere around that. But obviously, you know, we still have more strength for him to get as well on his grid. So he's gonna get very, very strong, very, very quickly. Orin is. So Orin could also potentially be coming uh, a main party member for us. Lulu. Mm, at the moment, she's still not that amazing. Lulu's main point at this moment in time is still going to be her her capturing, pretty much. So yeah, things are things are way different to what we were doing earlier on. Because as you remember, we were using Titus and Walker. You know, Walker was pretty good with his water magic. Walker is still kind of pretty good for his water magic, but not overly amazing. Uh, but what I'll, what I'll do is I'll change over to Walker in a minute and just, just show you guys. But for now, let's take a look at why I've got Riku in the party. Boom. I've got Riku in the party because not only does she do good damage, she has Mog with Master Thief. Mog with Master Thief. That is the entire reason she is in the party right now. She is going to be stealing everything for us, pretty much. And unfortunately, Veilfer missed that for some reason. God damn it, Veilfer. God damn it. Um, boom. Reason number two Kimari's in the party. Counter with Silent Strike. That's taking that's taking the edge off the vast majority of mobs in this area. Yeah, there's still gonna be there's still gonna be a few that, you know, give us give us trouble in that. But for the vast majority, it it's gonna be you know, like just taking the edge completely off them. So that's why you 
like, Kimari, Kimari's a mainstay now, for sure. Kimari is absolutely a mainstay for now. And probably going to be stuck in the party for, for quite a while, to be honest, you know? He's definitely going to be in there for a while. It's just a shame that I couldn't actually get um, an MP stroll armor for Riku. That's that's what I'm most sad about, not being able to get an MP stroll for Riku. That would have come in so handy for her mug, you know? That would have been absolutely amazing to get. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it, so we just have to we just have to sort of make do. You know what I mean? You know, let's just heal Kimari up. But yeah, like I, I really I really do wish that I could have got an MP stroll because then we could just run around mugging everything with Riku. We can't do that unfortunately though. But it's fine, because of Master Thief, you know, I'm gonna start really building up on the good items. Which is gonna be it's gonna be great. It's really gonna be great. Right, you know what? Um I'm gonna use Fire Breath. That should kill most of these, I think. Or not. Yeah, I kinda I kinda forgot Kimari's magic in this mod is really, really, really low. <laughs> like incredibly incredibly low what i really want though is i want more accuracy so i can start stealing from the wasps the reason i want to steal from the wasps with riku specifically is poison fang if i could dude if i could get poison fang that's like oh that would be amazing that would be absolutely amazing for sure i'm gonna try steal another petrify grenade though i don't know if i'll be able to get one like we're, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little iffy i hope i get one I hope. If I can't, then, you know, it, it is what it is. And I got one, nice. Yeah, unfortunately, Riku just can't kill anything. But it's fine, you know, we just got two Petrify Grenade. At the very least, that gives us two very easy wins, which I can, you know, just throw out with Veil for. Just a shame I can't throw with uh, with Riku. Sleepy Cat, sir. So. Wait, what's on that? Uh, Lulu. Probably nothing good, to be fair. Yeah, just, just Sleep Touch. Nothing really that important to be honest, so we're just gonna we're just gonna pretend that doesn't exist. Alright, sounds buster. It's like just take take the bias out of him completely. He's now useless for a few turns. It's like he he just can't damage us now. Which is great. Uh, I'm not gonna ball oh, then again. No, there's no point in me using magic really. Yeah, there's no point in me using magic unfortunately. So I guess we'll just use like emblem of fate. I mean, I could use the Petrify Grenades, but I don't want to. I'm going to try and save them. Like, they're, they're going to come in handy later on. Either for me to customize Petrify uh, Stone Strike weapons with, which, to be honest with you, I was really tempted to farm for, like, while I was doing my leveling. Just because, like, I knew that it would be so easy to get. But then I was also kind of like, if I do that, it's going to make things way too easy. You know, like, if I if I actually grinded and made free, pe uh, free stone strike weapons, we'd, uh, we'd just clear through 99% of things, which I think is, it's a little cheesy, you know? And I know, I know, it's weird, me of all people saying that, it is very weird. But it, it's just, it's just one of them, you know? I think I'm probably gonna make some around about... Mm, probably, probably calm lands. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably make stone strike at calm lands, and then I'll take my current weapons off. But even then, you know, there's, there's no saying I'm gonna do that because as we get to calm lands, that's gonna be after the Valhai Bridge, which is where we're going to do another big grind. And well, I say big grind, uh, another big grind, but it's not another big grind. It's like the big grind, pretty much. It's like we've already, we've already done. A little grind on Thunder Plains, you know, I got like 10 levels thereabouts. Whereas once oh, once we get to the high bridge, yeah, that's that's where we're gonna gain a lot of levels. That's gonna be where you see the biggest difference in the characters, like hands down. You know? That's where that's where we're gonna go from hmm, this character could be good here, this character could be good there, to okay, this character's gonna be freaking amazing here. Or this character is now amazing here. You know what I mean? It's like we're gonna we're gonna have that disparity between the characters. They're gonna have their abilities. They're gonna have their stats. So we'll be able to effectively know who's good at what in that situation. Whereas right now we don't have that. You know, we, we just don't have that right now, unfortunately. Whereas later on, we will do. 
which is going to be great, absolutely great. Now, honestly, that's that's probably my biggest problem with this mod, to be honest. I I think the ideas are really good. You know, I, I like the ideas. I like the idea of making the characters very unique, like sort of like building a class system into it. My only issue is the starting EXP required to level, you know? But that is my one and only issue, pretty much. I think if it wasn't for that, this would be a much more interesting mod because you would start getting that character diversity earlier on, you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, maybe, maybe some of the abilities are a little bit strong for that early. You know, it's like, like getting um, auto life on Titus so soon and holy so soon. Yeah, they're, they're a little overpowered. But when you think about the MP costs, eh, they're, they're not that overpowered, you know? Because it's like, how, how many times can we realistically use holy or auto life at this point? Even, even <laughs> with half MP. Actually, does he even have half MP? I'm gonna have to check that after this cutscene. But even even with half MP, that's like two uses, one or two uses this early. So it's not exactly that amazing. I mean, yeah, you could you could go ahead and get um, an MP stroll armor, but even then, you know, like, eh, it, it's still not that impressive given his just like astronomically low magic stat. So even though Titus is going to have holy early, it's not going to be that great. Like it's going to deal a bit of damage, but not a lot. Like that, that's just the one thing I can't really wrap my head around, you know? Because it's like, the mod is built for character diversity. And that's like the aim of the mod, to give characters that level of diversity, to make them different to each other. But then, it also makes it way harder and slower to level, which means you don't get to experience that diversity early on. And so I think a lot of people would probably drop the mod before they really, you know, got there and actually experienced it, which I think is a shame. That's why, you know what, you, if you are still watching, and when I say you, I don't mean you individually, I mean you, Dennings, the creator of the mod. Um, you, if you are if you are still watching this series, dude, I would honestly say um, maybe maybe half the innate sphere level requirements, because I think the EXP required for a level up at the start is just is just too high. It's gonna ruin the enjoyment and the experience of the character like diversification. You know what I mean? I, I definitely think the innate sphere levels are, you know, a good a good. 50% too high at least. So definitely, definitely my money would be to say, you know, just just drop him a little. Ooh, overkill, very nice. Dude, getting a crit with Rika was freaking insane. I love getting crits with her, so good. So good, so strong. <laughs> oh, but yeah, half, half the EXP required. Uh, that'll make this like above and beyond way better. I don't even, I don't even necessarily think you need to change the sphere grid around. I think that's fine as is. I just think the EXP requirements are a bit too high. Because, I mean, I obviously, you know, I grinded in Thunder Plains. I got a few levels that way. And we're only, we're only just getting to see slight differences in the characters. Which I think is a shame, you know, for, for a mod that's focused on the differences, I think you should highlight that rather than slow it down, you know what I mean? That's, that's my opinion anyway, and of course, you know, I open, I open the question up to everybody watching. What do you think? Do you share that opinion? Do you agree? Do you disagree? And, you know, if, if you agree, why do you agree? If you disagree, why do you disagree? Like, this is definitely one of those things that we can have an awesome conversation about, for sure. So let's talk about it down in the comments, you know? It's like, one of the one of the things I absolutely adore doing is talking to you guys in the comments section. When we actually get, you know, like, an actual topic going, like, I, I love that. I absolutely adore that. Because me, like, I am, I am an individual, you know? 
I can't consider every aspect. And of course, my opinion is my opinion. Other people are going to have their own opinions, other people are going to see it from different lights, they're going to see different sides, they're going to have, you know, an, an outsider's perspective if you aren't actually playing the mod. So I, that's why I love the conversations that we have, especially, especially on things like balance. Because balance is probably, it's probably the most polarizing discussion. Because so many, like, people will have so many different opinions on what should and shouldn't happen. You know what I mean? You know what, I'm just gonna energy blast here, sod it. I can get that overdrive back for Sphere Morph. But yeah, that, that's, that's what I think, anyway. I do think we should just have, like, an awesome discussion around this. Like, for sure. Because it would be, it would be good. It would be so great. Even if things do get a little heated. But no, let, let's try to keep it, let's try to keep it civil, you know, no, no heatedness or anything like that. Just simple, honest discussion about what we think, or, well, what you think could make the mod better, or maybe you think one of my suggestions would make it worse. Like, I'm, I'm open to all of them. Ooh, more accuracy for you, innit? Even though it doesn't really do much, like, all that's gonna do is sort of power level my Aeons a tiny, tiny bit. More strength for Lulu at only one point though, so that's not going to help much. Yeah, only 20 strength. It's not terrible, but it's not great either, unfortunately. Uh, do I have any ethers? I don't think I do. Oh, I have some. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just leave it like that for now. I'll use my ethers on Riku so I can start mugging again with her. It's just a shame I can't sort the inventory, because if I sort the inventory... All those, like, potion items, which are actually abilities to avail for, I'm gonna lose. Which, you know, it, it sucks. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose them. So I have to deal with a messy inventory in the menu. Man, it sucks! Alright, let's see if I can overkill this with Emblem of Fate. Oh, I tell you what, though, I just, I can't wait to see Himari just, like, laugh all over bosses, like, like Seymour. Seymour and Anima. They're magic heavy beyond belief. So having having Kimari's like insane magic defense, oh, it's gonna it's gonna make them laughable fights. Those fights are gonna be absolutely laughable AF man. And I cannot wait. Right, I definitely need to get an overdrive on Veil for so let's go ahead and escape. Yeah, let's let's escape and then I'll let these guys Actually, yeah, if I do that, and then if I hit the water element with thunder, that won't kill it, but it will nearly kill it. So now, I can start escaping with Kimari and Riku, because I want, I want Veilfit to get hit once more, and I definitely, wait, shield, what, why can't I, how do I escape with Kimari? That's really weird. Um, okay. I can't even escape with Riku, god damn it. Well, let's just murder this one. Yeah, I need to I need to get Veil for hit again. I desperately need Veil for to be hit again. Okay, well Riku's gone. Wait, is Kimari? Oh no, don't! God damn it, really? So well, let me shield again. Yeah, no, Kimari's still getting turns. I really did not want that to happen. I really, really, really did not want that to happen. <sighs> well, it is what it is. So, well, I suppose I could get the overdrive in the fight with Sphere Morph. Yeah, we'll we'll have to we'll have to do that. I think it it should be okay. Before anyone says anything, I'm not going back to be said either. So it's like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and get um the sphere for Aaron. Just not gonna bother. Right, let's buy some stuff. Uh first strike, no, and the darkness, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I guess I don't really need anything because like I don't like I already have first strike on Titus, so that's kinda of pointless buying that. What about it? Uh, yeah, too pricey, buddy. Too pricey. Uh, items, what's he got? Mm. 
Go buy high potions. I want, uh, no, I don't need to buy any actually. Yeah, I think I think we're okay there, item wise. All right, let's go do let's go do sphere mold, or at the very least, let's try to do sphere mold. It is here somewhere. You know what though? If Riku can inflict gravity damage on Sphere Morph. Oh no. Boss is gonna be over. Boss will be over instantly if Riku can inflict gravity damage on Sphere Morph. Although, to be honest, I wouldn't actually necessarily be that sad about that for the simple reason that I think everybody who's played FF10 might actually agree with this. The starting areas and the starting bosses and that are not that exciting. So being able to, you know, just quickly get through these earlier ones would be would be pretty good, in my opinion. So yeah, if gravity works on it, I'm gonna be happy. It's like I think Personally, in my opinion, where FF10 starts to get really exciting in the battles is probably around Calm Lands. Just because, like, just because of one reason, one reason alone, and this goes for, like, this mod, it goes for the OG. Um, it's just because that's where the characters really open up, you know, unless you mega grind early on. Although, even if you mega grind early on, you know, the monsters die so quickly. But for, for me, at least, like, around commands when you start getting different abilities and all that for your characters, that's that's where I think things are really, really great and awesome. It actually works. And I've zombied it, actually. Oh, you know what that means? Since I've zombied it, we could... We could, could, could... Use Cure on it. Uh, I'm not going to try that just yet, though. Let's go ahead and double cast, so... Actually, no. No, let's use... Let's use an Emblem of Fate. Then again, it's water right now, isn't it? It's in the water element, so Electrocute should do big damage. Yeah, 2,000 damage. Alright, so it should change. Yeah, there's the elemental shift, so it's thunder element now. So now I want thunder. Uh, now I want water damage. Let's mug again, see if I can get another turbo ether. I couldn't. Oh, it's still water. Okay, interesting. Why is he still water? Yeah, why is he still water? Um. Okay, well, we're just gonna use Emblem of Fate anyway. I'm not gonna risk healing it with Electrocute again. Did that kill it? No. It's gonna be close, though, I think. Oh, Riku might die here. No, because gravity. Duh. Right, so let's go ahead and struggle. In fact, no, let's, let's mug again. I'm not gonna use Riku's overdrive, because that's just way too strong. Right, okay. Now we're going to overdrive with Veilfer. This should kill it. This should kill it. Wait, no. Sphere Morph, that's... Hang on, is it 10,000 or 18,000? I think it's 18,000 half. I've done like four, six. Okay, yeah, this, this, well, this isn't gonna kill it. Oh, it did kill it. Okay, no, maybe it's 10,000 then. Is it 10,000? I could have swore Sphere Morph had more HP than that. Or is my math wrong? Hang on, what did Riku do? Riku did 2,000 on the first hit, 1,300, and then like. 800, so it's like 4,000 Riku did. Veilfer did 6, uh, well, did 2 and then another 2, so it's like 4, so that's like 10,000. Plus the overdrive is 14,000. Am I forgetting an attack? I don't know, I might be, I might be forgetting an attack. I can't, I can't think, I can't visualize it in my head. Look, it's late, I'm tired, I need caffeine. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh well, it is what it is. But yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go back to be sad. Mainly, mainly because of one reason, one reason alone. I am almost positive that Dark Veil is gonna be waiting there for me. If it's anything, if it's anything like 
uh, Ultimate Hardcore, Dark Railfer is already enabled to be there, which is gonna suck. So I think, I think we are gonna have to wait. Dude, I love Jack's Japanese voice. It's so good. Well, I want to hear voices. <laughs> Let me hear necessarily Japanese voices. I, oh, Braska sounds weird. I love Jags, but Braska. Mm, Braska takes some getting used to for his Japanese voice, for sure. It's like, I don't, I don't know why it says Jack's got that. <sighs> He's got that, like, weird uncle vibe, you know what I mean? Like, you know when you're watching anime or something like that? That's what Jack has. He's got that weird uncle vibe. That just. Oh man. I don't know how to describe it. He's like that cool uncle that seems to know everything in anime. You know what I mean? That's that's what it com that's what it feels like to me anyway. Although then again, I've not really watched much anime in a while, so that may or may not be right. Like, I've, yeah, I've definitely not really watched a whole lot of anime in a while. Better not be crying. Yeah, man, don't, don't cry. Don't cry, bro. It's like, come on, Titus. You can do it. Don't, be, be a man, man. Be a man. Don't cry. Yeah, you believe in me, Jack. You believe in me, buddy. See, he believes in me, guys. He believes in me. It's fine. It was too late. Aww. Aww. Aww.ジェクトはすでに覚悟を決めていた。覚悟？ジェクトはいつでもザナルカンドの家に帰ることを口にしていた。風景をスフィアに収め続けたのは帰ってからお前に見せるためだ。しかし旅を続けスピラを
back in the day, like remember, remember around PS3 era, you know, like the PS3 era, the Xbox 360, around around that era, or even even PS2, you know. Well, I say even PS2, PS2 era, or even PS3 and 360, around around those times, because like the voice actors back then, not not all of them. It, it's obviously not all of them, but there is a lot of them that were just like yeah no i don't i don't care how this sounds this is just a paycheck to me at the end of the day you know what i mean there was no there was no real emotion or or anything like that in early game voice acting granted you still you did have some actors that were good with it you know what i'm just gonna like load this uh do i still have any of my old saves that i can there we go uh I think that one should work. Alright, did that work? Right, I should have them all now. Yeah, I should, I should have them all. The items, yeah, I've got them all. Oh, okay, sweet. We can, we can understand Albert, man. We can understand Albert. But yeah, um, I definitely, I definitely think, and I, well, a lot of JRPG players will probably agree with, um, what I just said about you know old old school voice acting it was very noticeable i think in specifically the jrpg games obviously you know you, you still had the good voice actors with with some english games you know like some um i think some very notable ones include people like uh you know davy david hater you know the voice of solid snake you could tell that that's a real passion project for him you know what I mean? And it's, it's things like that that make things so good, for sure. Like, voice actors need that level of passion. Right. Okay, I guess we just go straight into the boss. Like, there's not really... There's not really much I can do. Like, we're just gonna, we're just gonna have to go into the boss and see what he does. See if we can have some luck or if we're going to get absolutely murdered. <laughs> oh, hopefully we're going to have some luck. I don't know. We probably won't, though. Yeah, we, we probably won't. But i tell you what, speaking, speaking of David Hater, it's like, what do you guys think about the um, proposed leak rumor that's been going around now for a couple of weeks? Well, I think of weeks. It's kind of been going around for a few months, but there has been some supporting evidence to support the leak of an updated M uh, Metal Gear Solid like remaster, remaster slash remake. So we don't know we don't know all the titles that are that are getting it or anything like that, but. Uh, we know the um, IPs have been refreshed for like two and three in that for the real clips that are in them. Same with same with one. So if you don't know, that's why you couldn't buy them online anymore after a little while. It's because of the actual TV clips, like the real life TV clips that they included in the games. They lost the license to use them. That's why, like a few years ago, they had to take all the games down, basically, just because they weren't allowed to sell them anymore. They've they've got all the licenses back again for that. But then, it's been it's been going around for a while now about you know an MGS one remake rumor, but that seems to be blowing up a lot lately. And there's lots of there's lots of I, I don't want to say evidence because it hasn't come directly from Konami. You know what I mean? It is just leaks at the end of the day. But there's a lot of strong supporting evidence that might indicate that it's true. And it's going to be great if it is. Although, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it being based on the Twin Snakes version. In fact, I wonder how many people know about Twin Snakes. Yeah, let, let's, have a, let's have a show of hands. Oh my god, dude. Brother's voice. Brother's voice. What is this? That's freaking messed up. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, um, how many people actually know about Twin Snakes? If, if you don't know, um, Twin Snakes is actually a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1. It's... Oh, what was it released on? It was released on the GameCube. I don't know if it was released on any other platforms, though. But yeah, it was it was made after MGS2, 
So it's got like the same aiming system as, as MGS2 and all that. Uh, you, you actually can properly aim. Whereas MGS1, obviously you couldn't. But it was fun, you know, it was really, really fun. Some of the some of the redone cutscenes were amazing. Right, Negator disables all magic and summoning, but it looks like Veilfer is unaffected. Right, so Veilfer is unaffected. Oh my god, I could mix you, Yavin, and summon. Holy shit. Could I make something really overpowered here? What right, hang on, what's gonna happen if I mix like Emblem of Fate and Ultimate Jack Shot? Mix fail. Oh, it didn't even it didn't even use her overdrive. Okay, so I, I obviously can't use any of those abilities then. Huh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Alright, so that's one fast, and I can't really do much to that. Let's just sound what it's not gonna do anything, but if I actually hit that no, it just inflicted this double man. I was gonna say, like, did that actually work? Alright, I can't use black magic, can't use white magic, but I can use emblem of face. So let's use that to kill the negator. I'm surprised that it, it's left Veil for that. Maybe it's because Veil for at the moment is thought of as a party member rather than an actual summon. Maybe that's why. Some Lunar Curtains, I'll take it. And oh my god, the gravity worked on it. Holy shit. Riku is just way too good, man. Riku is, is just way too Wow, okay. Um... Yeah, I'll revive him. Why not? I'll, I'll revive you, Kamari. It's fine, buddy. Right, hopefully Riku won't get one shot, actually. I want to try Mug again. I want to see if I can get more. Can I get more Lunas? No, I couldn't. Oh my god, man. He's already nearly dead. Okay, Riku. Riku needs a nerf. Like, um, I'm sorry. I have to say it. Riku needs a nerf. She is definitely, definitely too strong here. Either, either make bosses immune to gravity damage or, or something. I, I don't know. It's like I suppose she's okay for like the general, the general mobs and that. But for the bosses, no. I'm, I'm sorry. She, like bosses need to be immune to Riku. She is just way too strong. I don't care who you are, I don't care what you say. She, she is too strong on bosses. I mean, I know I know what I was on about earlier, about you know how I'm how I'm glad and all that, that we can get through the bosses quicker. But I still think that's kinda cheap. I I do have to say I think that's kinda cheap. We we've literally just done like 10,000 damage to this boss just because of Riku's gravity. That's a little... That's just a little strong. Although I know... I know bosses after the Calm Lands, they are immune to gravity by default, so it's not the end of the world. In fact, it, it's actually Beacon now that monsters start being immune to gravity. So I suppose that will sort of balance itself out. And I guess... You know what? I guess, in a sense... Because you start with, like, lower stats and... You know, you need a lot more EXP to level up. I suppose it kind of balances out, you know? The gravity can be there to actually allow you to do the damage to get through the bosses. So all you need to do is, like, focus on surviving. Which I suppose is... It, it's kind of a nice touch. Yeah, it, it's a nice touch. So I suppose if you don't grind, Riku is, Riku is good, but if you do grind to try and, you know, make the characters more diverse, that's where I think Riku is a little too good, because obviously you're already able to do damage with your, with your actual characters, so then Riku's gravity on top, it, it's a little strong. Like, I, see, I feel like I should stop using Riku, but... I also don't want to because she has Master Thief and she has more, and I don't want to lose either one of them. So it's just, it, oh man, it's really, it's really awkward to decide. For sure. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I might have to stop using Riku though. 
Like, I, I don't really want to, because the more gear is good with Master Thief. But, she is strong. She is, like, really, really strong. Mm. Maybe... Maybe I will just stop using her on bosses. Well, no, because bosses typically have good steals as well, actually. So I don't really want to lose her on, bo on bosses either. Hmm. I mean, I could... I could see... If... Her weapon is the gravity. Maybe, maybe the damage she gets from gravity is from her actual weapon. Hmm. It might be, you know. It, it actually might be. If it's from her weapon, I could just change that around. Which, you know, would just be, would be fine then. Hmm. That's gonna be hard to decide. Yeah, that, that's that's definitely gonna be hard to decide for sure. Well, we'll figure it. We'll figure it out. You just need to decide what's gonna happen. Oh, I got Lulu. Really? I, I wanted Riku. You know what that is? That's because of the grinding I did with Lulu in the party. It's like I did I did more grinding with Lulu in the party than I did with Riku in the party. So we unfortunately unfortunately got too much romance with Lulu. <sighs> yeah, I did I did most of my early grinding with Lulu. Mainly because I wanted to capture things. Oh not the end of the world. Well, I suppose it has been a while since I saw Lulu's cutscene here, to be honest. So it's not, it's not all bad, I guess. Could be, could be worse. You know, could be, could be worse, for sure. Oh no, friend. Sinte, Alright, let's go. Let's go, man. See more time. Yeah, I need to... I, I can't use Riku in this. I, I definitely can't use Riku in this fight. It wouldn't be too bad for... Oh, do you know what? Can I recruit? It's all seven. Sign play. I'm gonna sign for one game. Cause Lena is a pretty good player in general, to be fair. Not amazing early on, but becomes amazing later. Wait, no, is that is that the other way around? Shit. Look, she's either really, really good early or really, really bad early. And then she's like amazing the opposite. I think I think she's good early and bad later, maybe. I don't know. I know. I know. She starts with a bunch of abilities. I just can't really remember. I I never use Lena. It's like I typically just use like the starting characters from from Luca. I never really go for like a pure late game team. Hmm. 
Yeah, man, she's a guardian. She should have let her in. Yeah. Well, at least he knows his place. You know, at least, at least he knows his place. Right. Okay. It is time for Seymour. But do everybody, I am afraid to say that Seymour is going to be in the next one. Because I'm going to be ending this video right here. So though, I do hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, then please be sure to smash that like button and drop a comment down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more content. As always though, everybody, thank you for watching. And I'll see you soon.